Your dialysis access is your lifeline. It connects you to the dialysis machine. Unfortunately, your access isn't germ-proof and can get infected if not cared for properly. Why are infections bad? If your access gets infected, it can feel like a terrible flu with fever, chills, nausea, vomiting, and body aches. When you were a kid, you could just skip school and the flu would go away with time. Chicken soup, daytime television, and sleep were your comforts. If you get an access infection, professional medical treatment is usually needed. It can even be life-threatening. The infection may prevent you from getting dialysis through your access, and it usually requires a long stay in the hospital to get you healthy again. So, how do access infections happen? Your dialysis access is designed to make it easy for blood to get into and out of your body for your dialysis treatments. Unfortunately, this also makes it very easy for germs to get into your body too. You get an infection when germs get into your body and multiply. Nearly one in every 10 people on dialysis will get an infection this year. The rate is even higher for people with catheters and those new to dialysis. Luckily, there are steps you can take to avoid infections. How do you keep germs out of your access? Your hands are like little cars that pick up and drop off germs whenever they touch something. The most important thing you can do is wash your hands for 30 seconds before touching near your access. 30 full seconds every time using antibacterial soap. Why 30 seconds? It takes 30 seconds for washing to get rid of all the germs you've picked up. If you stop early, you'll leave some hanging around. Let's wipe out those infections.